Hello, this is Danny Stout. I'm a senior solutions consultant with TIBCO and Advanced Analytics. Statistica 13.4 was just released. One of the new exciting features of this release is that Statistica workspaces can be used as data functions in Spotfire DXPs. This video is to go over the requirements and also how to install the software to enable this functionality. You can see that I'm actually on the TIBCO eDelivery website. I'm looking at the TIBCO Statistica server product download. This is one of the requirements to enable this functionality. You do need TIBCO Statistica server. Another product that is needed is the TIBCO Statistic extension for TIBCO Spotfire. You'll see that I am on the eDelivery website again, looking at either Spotfire Analyst 7.12 or Spotfire Analyst 7.11. Those are the two versions of Spotfire that are compatible with this functionality. You will need the product TIBCO Statistic Extension for TIBCO Spotfire, and this will include two files. Those files that you'll get are both the Statistica Engine as well as the Statistica Extension. And you'll see that I also have the installer, which I downloaded as well. Those have been installed, both to Statistica as well as to Spotfire Server. Those packages have been deployed so that both Statistica and Spotfire have been updated. Now, let's look at the data that we're gonna use for this example. This is credit scoring data, and what we wanna do is we wanna build a visualization that's going to allow us to look at the distributions of bads and goods. And one of the things that we need to do is build a predictive model to predict whether someone is going to be high risk or low risk. And this is what we're going to do during this example. We're gonna create a model within Statistica and utilize that in Spotfire. You'll see in Spotfire, I've already added the data file to this DXP, and we can look at the distribution within the data right now. But let's build the predictive model and look at the visualization of the results from that predictive model. I'm going to take this data set and I'm going to add it to a workspace. Once the data is in the workspace, we can choose which algorithm we want to use in order to build our predictive model. I'm going to use boosted trees or stochastic gradient boosting. With this model, it's a powerful machine learning algorithm that we can use to build a predictive model to uh, calculate or predict risk for individual uh, customers applying for credit. The requirement to enable this functionality is once you specify the model on downstream, I need to choose which data I'm going to pass to Spotfire. You can see I've taken the predictive values as my downstream document. I'm going to run this it's going to generate the predictive modeling markup language node as well as rapid deployment. And what I want to do is I want to take this workspace and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it to my local disk. Since I have Statistica server, I could also save it to the server and utilize the functionality from the server as well. So I now have a risk model. With this functionality, it is mandatory that the workspace has been previously ran in order to estimate that model. I had done that previously, I wanted to make sure and clarify that. This workspace can be either deployed to the server or saved to the local disk and closed. That model has been created and we're now ready to create the data function within Spotfire. I'm gonna go into Spotfire. From tools, you'll see with the extensions added, we now have a option for Statistica. With that, I'm going to navigate to the local disk where I saved my model. Once I do that, I can parameterize the data function. It's going to evaluate the workspace. It's going to give me the settings. And I'm going to go and configure this data function. You'll see my input data. I'm going to define the columns. And now I can specify the output. You'll see there are two possible nodes in that workspace that will give us output, both boosted trees as well as rapid deployment. I did not specify anything in rapid deployment, only in boosted trees. I'm going to request that that output be brought back as a data table. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, click on Close, and you'll see down in the bottom left hand corner, it's running that background task. That is the Statistica workspace. You will see that it turns into a warning and that's just because there's not been a new release of Spotfire yet. Uh, whenever development addresses that uh, within Spotfire, uh, you'll see that that will change. But at this point, Statistica has received the update and this enables that new functionality. I'm just gonna clear that warning because you'll see up here that I now have that new data table. 
Once I have that new data table, I can then add myself another bar chart. And within that bar chart, instead of looking at the observed value, I can look at that predictive value. And you'll see that in this model, I'm not doing a very good job of predicting people who have bad credit. You'll see that my distribution is off. I would want to get a little bit better accurate predictions for bad credit. So I need to spend a little bit more time on my predictive model in Statistica, update that model, and then update the data function and pass that back to Spotfire to look at the results from my predictive model created in Statistica, a no-code predictive analytics platform. An additional requirement is that both Statistica and the Spotfire Analyst software have to be on the same system to enable this functionality. Thank you for your time and enjoy this new functionality. Mm -hmm.